A fire that erupted in South Spokane this Saturday killed two family dogs. According to the American Veterinary Association, roughly 40,000 pets die in house fires every year. Yeah, but tonight a push to bring that number down. Our Jordan Smith joins us from the Spokane Fire Training Facility with a tool that's giving pets a fighting chance if they're trapped in a fire. Of all the tools that firefighters carry with them on a day-to-day -day basis, this animal oxygen mask is one of them. This is a highly effective tool that can be used to help resuscitate animals that have become unresponsive due to smoke inhalation from a house fire, for example. And this tool is a part of every single unit within the Spokane Fire Department. It happens more often than we realize. A home goes up in flames and pets are trapped inside. The smoke and carcinogens released during a fire are incredibly dangerous to both humans and our pets. There is a huge amount of carcinogens, cyanide, carbon monoxide, and a plethora of other extremely volatile chemicals in that black smoke. So for the better part of 15 years, firefighters have been equipped with oxygen masks specially designed for animals. With these devices, the way they're designed and how they go onto the anatomy, in this case of a dog, it allows us to provide 100% oxygen and, and, ventilate, uh, and ventilate a dog. Firefighters deployed this tool on Saturday during a house fire that erupted in South Spokane. Two dogs were trapped inside. You can see crews doing CPR as this dog was unresponsive. They were ultimately able to help one regain consciousness and transport it to a hospital. Sometimes, like Saturday, these efforts are too little too late, as both dogs ended up passing away. But the potential for these tools to save lives is enormous, as is the push to have them in every fire station across the region. Part of them being used on cats and dogs. Heather um, Majek with Invisible Fence in Post Falls is trying to make that happen. We try and make sure that there's one kit on every first responder vehicle in the area. They've donated dozens of these masks to local fire departments in our region. Their latest push to bring them to Kootenai County and Coeur d'Alene. Our, our goal is to save as many pets as possible. In Spokane, Jordan Smith, 4 News Now.